it's pretty often that I get the question asking what the best media is for my canister filter, my sump, my hang on the back, whatever it may be. The answer to that is really complicated, but I do want to talk about a media that I've been testing for well over a year now that I like a lot and why I like it. Hello everyone, this is Bentley, and today we're going to talk about filter media. I know, exciting, right? It's specifically a ceramic media, and that is Brightwater's S-Series. This stuff, right here. So, with the S, you have two different sizes. Uh, the boxes will say S and then S small, but when you... Look at them online through Amazon. It's S and S Mini. Small <laughs> change in wording, but the difference is purely on size. Performance, there's no real difference. So let's talk about the pros, the cons, what makes this stuff worthwhile. And if you're lucky and get this stuff on sale, why it's a steal. One disclosure we got to get out of the way. In the past, Brightwater has provided me some of their product to test. I have not been paid by Brightwater. Uh, there's, there's no, I don't make anything other than like an Amazon affiliate commission if you happen to buy some of their product through the links that I have in the description. I've just had an opportunity to test some of their product and I have since bought quite a lot of their product using my own money. All of the stuff that I've been testing for the last year has been out of my own pocket, but in the past, full disclosure, they've provided me some product. They do not get to see this video before it goes live to you folks. They don't have any influence on uh, my script or anything like that, which you all know I don't have a script. But anyway, it's all me. That's it. I did get some to test in the past. There's your disclosures. Just so you know, we're all in the up and up here. Let's talk about the, the media. You can see here from the our picture on the box, right? It's kind of a small disc. But... Let's pull some out and actually look at it in the package. So this is the regular S, and you can see by size, kind of, you look at the top of my thumb, it's a little bigger than the tip of my thumb. It's kind of like a, a hockey puck, if you will, or uh, if as we're getting close to uh, a certain time of year, it looks kind of like a smoke bomb firework, right? This stuff is really, really nice, extremely porous, uh, designed by a fish farm, that did uh, arowanas, if I remember correctly, but that's not the important part. The important part is this. This stuff is nearly dust-free. I'm gonna roll some B-roll, and this is me just opening the package, pouring it out, and then moving stuff aside so you can see how little dust comes off of this stuff. Now, I've got quite a lot of this in a bunch of my filters. Uh, one of my FX6s has a layer of the regular S covered by a layer of the S Mini, one box each. Uh, I have another filter that we're going to talk about very, very soon. It's actually been working on the tank behind me for a month and a half now. It has a lot of the S Mini, uh, and then I've put some of the regular S in quite a few canister filters throughout my house. And... Let me explain why you would look at something like this, where normally, if you don't happen to get the stuff on sale, it's $19.99 per box. And, and this each box has a bag that's 500 grams. You can see about what you're getting out of the regular S here. Let me grab a bag of S Mini. And here you can see a box of S Mini in its bag. And you can definitely see the difference here, right? I'm going to put my thumbnail up here. It's more about the size of my thumbnail. Again, that kind of small hockey puck. Uh, smoke bombish looking kind of thing there kind of a and I would say in general I would suggest the S mini for most of your filters unless you're doing something like a sump or a very large canister like the the FX6 uh, any of the the really big Eheim some of your Oases where they have a really big media basket then you can look at the regular S but I like the S mini quite a lot for more general purpose it's easier to fill a space a little bit better um, you have a little bit less open space, but if you're looking to not impede flow, that might be where you would go against this stuff and go for the bigger stones, right? Very similar uh, structure, extremely dust-free, 
I was able to take several bags of this stuff when filling a, a large filter that I've been working on and basically barely have any dust go anywhere and do a super short rinse with my hose outside before having it completely clean and ready to go. I think that's one of the biggest benefits. Now, if you look at like your standard ceramic ring, those are really dusty. Uh, I've, I've often spent <laughs> 15 or 20 minutes rinsing out uh, you know, lots and lots of ceramic rings in order to make sure I'm not going to get a bunch of particulate dust from the ceramic in my tank when I start running my filter. This is especially the case when I'm doing this inside of a hang-on back, and I'll have like a little media bag, uh, some kind of small mesh bag that I'm putting on top of my sponges. I really, really, really thoroughly rinse that kind of media out because it is kind of dusty, and when it's in transit, you know, even this kind of stuff, right, where it's just moving around a little bit, wiggling, you can produce a lot of dust, but if you see in this bag, right, if we go to a corner here, do you see how there's almost nothing? And I'll, I'll even shake it a little, right, to try and get some stuff in there, but look, see how little this is right here? Try to keep it in focus, but look how little dust is there. You'll see little bits of dust up here, like on the bag, but it's, it's so minimal. If this was a similar set of like your standard ceramic ring, there would be a ton of dust, a bunch of broken pieces, all kinds of nightmare. That's one of the hugest benefits of this stuff. It's very dust free, which means you don't have to rinse it very long. Also, you're not getting a lot of breakdown in that media. It's much more dense, which means it's going to last you longer. And you might say, Bentley, come on, man. A ceramic ring lasts a ton of time. They don't really break down, but over time, some of the friction, it's gonna break. You will get shards and stuff like that. And if it's in a media bag, it doesn't matter too much. This stuff, on the other hand, it's going to last you pretty much forever. That's a big benefit. Now, let's talk about some of the cons to this particular media. Like I said, with the larger media, because it's a much larger disc than this stuff here, it's going to leave a lot more room. The benefit there is that it won't impede as much flow. However it can be a little harder to like really feel like you fully filled a media basket without kind of losing a little bit of space. The S-Mini, on the other hand, with this smaller size, does a much better job of that. So you can kind of weigh your options. One thing you might look into is do something what I've done with some of my FX6s. A layer of the regular S with a layer of S-Mini on top. Gives you the best of both worlds. You've got a nice kind of big layer underneath to have some gaps, make sure you have good water flow but then a strong layer of the smaller media up top to help fill in everything and kind of optimize your tray. The only other downside compared to like your standard ceramic ring where you're getting a, you know, pretty big bag for five or six bucks. If you don't find this stuff on sale, it's 20 bucks for this amount here, which is 500 grams by weight. But I would say that um, something like an FX6 tray, two bags is what you need. Something like a, an Owaze Biomaster or the like old Rena XPs, similar size media trays. One bag is probably enough per tray and still leaving a little bit of space for extra water flow or sponges or whatever you might want in there. Some polishing pads, that kind of stuff. But uh, if you really want to super fill it, it's about a bag and a half. And the only reason I know is that I put quite a few in a filter that has similar size media baskets. So we'll be talking about relatively soon. So the next major pro, this stuff goes on sale regularly. Uh, if you get some kind of holiday sale, we recently had Prime Day for Amazon. S-Mini was $8 a box. Regular S was $9 a box. They were more than 50% off their normal retail. And at that price, this stuff is a steal. It's so good. It has really high bio capacity. Part of the reason why uh, Brightwater in particular uses this stuff and works with the person who created it is because they use it in a professional fish farm where they have huge, huge, huge bio loads because they're dealing with Asian arowana, right? These are fish that create a lot of waste and they wanted something that would give them absolute optimal water quality when it came to their biological filtration. This is what got designed and what got used. It's incredible. The stuff is really, really good. Now, for most of us, our media probably doesn't matter too much about biocapacity, but 
if you kind of follow the lessons of a lot of your aquascapers, the more bio capacity, the better, the long term for the health of your fish tank, for your water quality. And if you want to do a lot better than a standard ceramic ring and you're willing to pay for something a little premium, this is my go-to. I love this stuff. I've been using a bunch of it. And even though Brightwater gave me some to try, which uh, we had full disclosures at the beginning of the video, but I went and bought a ton more. <laughs> the, during uh, during Christmas, when it was on sale, a similar price, not as cheap as it was for Prime Day, I bought like, I think it was eight boxes of the S Mini and six or seven boxes of the regular S. So I just had a stockpile laying around for whenever I needed it. And uh, I probably should have brought more during Prime Day because I, I really do legitimately love this stuff quite a lot. I think it's an absolutely perfect biomedia, and I'm hoping very soon to be able to do a true side-by-side -side test where we have this stuff versus your standard ceramic mean ring versus something like a Seachem Matrix or Bio Home Ultimate or you know pick some other kind of really popular media and do capacitance testing. Similar to what we've done in the uh, the Zis filters, where we tried the foam versus the standard media that's in that particular filter. So, really simple. This is just a super good media. Like I said, I personally like the S Mini a little bit more, just because I like that smaller size. It's easier to pack my baskets and and feel like I'm filling as much of the basket as possible, so there isn't like an open space where water can go through without touching the media. That's my personal choice. But if I was doing something a lot larger, like a sump, I would go to the S to get that bigger size, fill up a little bit more, and not impede flow long term for something that is going to deal with a lot of water moving through it. That's it. It's really good stuff. I hope you check it out. There will be links down in the description. Uh, again, just to repeat the, the disclosure for the start of this video, uh, I'm not paid by Brightwater. Brightwater did provide me some products a long time ago to try out. They gave me one box of the S, one box of the S Mini a long time ago to try for this particular product. And since then, I have bought a ton of it independently without getting it directly from them. I like it that much. I am happy to spend my money on their product. So, with that being said, I'd love to hear your comments. Have you guys tried the Brightwater stuff before? Uh, I've talked about the sponges in the past, the, their particular foam media that I like quite a lot as well. Let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy this stuff? If you enjoy videos like this, give it a little thumbs up. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube dumb stuff that you gotta do. Uh, for those of you who uh, hate videos like this, don't like me talking about products or think I'm some chill or whatever, it might thumbs down twice, man. I'll understand. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome.